Hi guys, Righteous Raymond here, author of Gaslit and Temper the Narcissist Pit. Today's lesson is on the necessity of confronting your toxic person. The necessity of confronting your toxic person. Life is the greatest teacher. You've heard this before, right? Life is the greatest teacher. It will give you the same lesson over and over and over again until you learn the moral of the story. Life is the greatest teacher. It will keep giving you the same lesson over and over and over and over again until you learn the lesson, the moral of the story. And some of you all have been avoiding an important conversation, an important, um, sometimes a confrontation, an important um, dis uh, um, discussion that you're supposed to have years ago. But because you've never, you've never fought that demon when you were younger, you're gonna have to fight it now. And I and I say I say it this way: you have to become the person that the younger version of you needed. You have to become the the version of yourself, the adult for yourself that the younger you need. So, um, let's say you're seven years old, and that's somebody's mistreating you in the family or in school or in the neighborhood, right? At that time, you might have needed a 30-year-old parent to speak up for you, to stand up for you, to tell that bully or that toxic person, that molester, um, leave my child alone. You don't listen, these are going to be the consequences, boop, 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 whatever. Some of y'all, when you were 13, needed to stand up to a bully in high school. Well, not high school, 13. 13 is middle school, right? Yeah, middle school. Or 15 in high school. You needed to confront a bully that you were very, very scared, and you would confront the bully and so what happens is, as you get older, life will keep giving you the same lesson over and over and over again through different people, different teachers. Think of it this way. You know, in the American school system, you know, we have K through 12. Um, I'm not sure how, you know, homeschoolers do it, but in the public school system and private schools, they have K through 12. Now, let's say your parents in the Army or that your parents relocate a lot and they move from, let's say, Alabama. They go, let's say they go from... Montgomery, Alabama, they moved to Dallas, Texas, they moved to New York, New York, they moved to San Diego, California, they're moving around all these different states, right? No matter where you go, your child will be put in the same grade that they just left from. You say, this teacher's kind of harsh, she's kind of mean, I'm leaving this school, I'm leaving this grade, I'm moving to another state across the country. When you go to the next state and enroll your child into that school, they're going to have to have the same grade that they had when they left the last state and you can run to a million schools in a million states it's, on, it's not the million states but you can run to a million schools in a, you, can run, you can go to a hundred schools in a hundred different cities and you're going to have to see or repeat that grade that's how life is you can run from this person over here at this job you with the same spirit in the person at this next job you can run from this, this one dude you dated and you didn't know how to tell them XYZ you just kind of ran and blocked them and ghosted them you went to the same type of person in, a, in another relationship. You can run from one type of pastor to this type of church. You're going to leave that church and you're going to go to another church at the same type of pastor. You can make this one kind of a friend at this, in this one city. Go to the other, other city, make a new friend, same spirit. Spirits are sent to test you. To, to I mean, sometimes, I, mean, I would even say perfect you to, to bring the best out of you, to, be at the, the, to, be, to, to strengthen you, to show, to show what you're made of. If you're real scary, You'll keep on running from person to person. I'm, I don't want to confront them. I don't want to send it to him. I'm scared of him. I'm scared of her. You dodging the person all the time in the hallway. You know, you, you are constantly going to a person's family reunion. And you keep running from this person. And, you become, you're, and you're a coward. You just become a coward inside. You're just a coward. You never say the things you need to say. You have to keep on picking on you, picking on you, picking on you, picking on you, picking on you. You used to become a weak person you were, the same person you were at 7 or 13 or 21. But I'm telling you all, it's 2024. It's time for you to confront your toxic person. This is the last, last year with the last year, you're going to be picked on. You got to stand up for yourself. Become the person you needed to be for yourself at 7, at 13. Now, 7, you know, you were real small. 7-year-olds can't really fight. You know, unless you from the streets. <laughs> uh, you know, unless you get some, some big brothers and sisters that taught you how to fight. 13 year olds, they don't have any resources. You know, if you can't speak up to your mom and dad because they feed you every day, you know what I'm saying? 
So in 21, they said you were pregnant by your 30 year old boyfriend. You were pregnant at 21 and you had no job and no car, no license, and no no job. So you had to stay with him. You had to stay with him, but you it was easier. It, you you were kind of stuck. You had to stuck with him because you know the children and everything, and you know the children to be in a bad way. So there's some times in your previous in your previous you know ages where you could not stand for yourself, where you could not defend yourself, where you could not protect yourself. But you all, you're in a safer place now. You're 40. You're 50. You're 60. You're 70. You can speak up for yourself now. You have your, all your own money. You're financially independent. You have your own car. You have your own job. You have your own apartment. Your own house. Okay? You pay on your own bills. You have your own phone. So I'm challenging you all this year to have the difficult conversation. The difficult conversation you need to have because you're going to keep on running for the rest of your life and it's never going to go away. I'm telling you all, life is the greatest teacher. It will repeat a lesson time and time and time and time and time again until you learn the moral of the story. Until you work out those muscles. You all, you're not meant to die a coward. Don't die a coward. Do not die a coward. You may not have no friends when you die. <laughs> you may have some enemies when you die, but you won't die a coward. You have defended yourself that you ignored, that you did not protect when you were young, when you couldn't protect when you were younger. And you're going to be proud of yourself. And you all, I'm telling you all, when you beat that level of having difficult conversations and not being passive aggressive and codependent, you're going to, you may face some different devils on a different level. But it, don't you get tired of the same old battle? Don't you get tired of the same old, I want to tell him, but I don't want to hurt his feelings and I don't want to be mean and I don't want him to be my friend. He want to invite me, he want to invite me to his wedding if I say something. Y'all forget all that. That, see, that season is, people pleasing season is over. We are moving in ways that protect the younger version of us that we should have always protected. We are no longer going to be bullied, harassed, picked on, bothered. Um, we're going to stand up and protect ourselves. Because life, this, life's demanding it. Life is demanding it. I think about um, David, you know, and, and Goliath. And so Goliath is like harassing, he's with the Philistine army. He's harassing Saul. He's harassing his soldiers. He's taunting them, calling them names, making fun of them, intimidating them. They just sitting there scared to... Who gonna fight Goliath? Who gonna fight the giant? And they just said they just gonna sit there and be a punk to the Philistine. And then David said, "Who is this uncircumcised dog? This Philistine dog to defy the armies of the living God? Like, are you serious? He gets his sling shot. He gets five stones. Only needs one. Cause that glass head off. Aren't you tired of being intimidated by this giant? Don't you want to just have the conversation and just get it over with and have the victory forever? Just have the conversation." They will be mad. I'm going to tell you this right here, y'all. People pleasers, codependent people. They will be mad at you. They will be mad at you. They will give you the silent treatment. They will ignore you. You will get any more invites. They may turn the clicker against you. That's fine. That comes to the territory. So, yes, you all, if you don't have a conversation this week, this month, this year, I guarantee you, you will have this conversation. You will have the same battle 2025, 2026, 2027. The other thing that's going to happen is everyone on that same level of disrespect, they're going to line up. Everybody who's on that level of disrespect to you is that, is that bully, is that taunter, is that, is that harasser, is that molester, is that toxic person, is that narcissist. When you confront this toxic person, you're going to find this is going to be miraculous. This is going to amaze you guys. Everyone on that same level of disrespect is going to either go away or they're going to respect you. Let's say, you know, the movie's Friday when um, Ice Cube beat up uh, Debo. Like, everyone's like, everyone's like, everyone's like that better. And everyone got to, everybody, everybody respected Ice Cube. He fought, everybody was scared of Debo for years. He was, a, he was a neighborhood bully for years. Everyone in that neighborhood was terrified of this man for years. Once Ice Cube, he got a few licks, he got, he got hurt a little bit, he got, he got punched a few times. When he confronted that bully Debo, Debo was humbled. Everyone was able to be at peace in that whole neighborhood forever. And then, well, I think the one guy, he picked the other guy back up and he got in jail. But that's, that was next Friday, something like that, or not, Christmas Friday. Uh, but yeah, so so he was he was never a coward again. He was always brave. At that point, he was no longer a coward. He was brave. He did get scared of another, another, another I think the, the next, a sequel, whatever. But in that movie, it was over. So you all, when you face your taunters, you will have peace for a long time because you learned the lesson. Thanks for watching. Please share this video. Bye.